Once a novelty, smart light bulbs are popping up everywhere, and where there were once two or three brands of smart lights, now almost every company is making a smart bulb. I had the chance to review many smart light brands, but when it comes to LifeX, it's been several years since I reviewed their offerings. I didn't have the greatest experience back then, so I'm keen to give them another try, but spoiler alert, not much has changed. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and LifeX is one of the original smart lights. When I last reviewed the company's bulbs, they were a welcome novelty, but finicky to run. I recently decided to give LifeX bulbs another look, so in this review I'll talk about my experience with them today, how the setup process is, if any improvements have been made, and how these bulbs integrate into my smart home. I recently ordered the LifeX 1100 lumen larger format light bulb and the 800 lumen color bulbs, which are the size of a traditional light bulb, and both have the standard E26 screw base. So those are the bulbs I'm going to focus on today. LifeX makes Wi-Fi enabled multicolor energy efficient LED light bulbs, light strips, and all kinds of lights that you can control with your smartphone. Wi-Fi connectivity lets you use your phone as a remote control for dimming or brightening the light from wherever you sit, even adjusting the color and the hue. You can also use your digital assistant like Google or Alexa for voice control. So what makes LifeX lights special? Unlike other smart lights, LifeX lights don't need a separate hub or a bridge to function. The smarts and the Wi-Fi connection ability is built into each bulb. Not needing a hub means you don't need to worry about setting up an extra gadget, plus there's no extra cost like there would be with something like a Philips Hue bulb, for example. In my initial review of LifeX light bulbs, they were quite difficult to set up. They often took several attempts at connection, and over the weeks and months after my review, they would often randomly disconnect or become unreachable for no reason, requiring a complicated reset process. Also, over the years that I've had LifeX light bulbs, several of them have simply ceased to function altogether, meaning I had to toss them away, an expensive prospect at their price point. Ringing in at between $40 and $60 each, I'd say out of the eight LifeX bulbs I've owned over the years, four of them have already reached end of life. And while in this short review period I won't be able to judge their longevity again yet, I will be watching to see how this newer generation of bulbs holds up. I'm disappointed to find LifeX light bulbs are not really any easier to set up than when I previously reviewed them. They continue to be buggy, difficult, or just plain broken. Screw in the light bulb and make sure the power is on and that the bulb comes to life. Then you'll use the LifeX app to connect to your bulb by choosing the add device prompt. The app should find your bulb immediately and then it should be a simple matter of tapping to connect and following the instructions. Somewhat maddeningly though, the LifeX app forced me to integrate with Apple HomeKit. Now I do have HomeKit set up, but I don't actually use it day to day. Instead, I just rely on it for testing new gadgets. But for the HomeKit connection to work, you absolutely need to ensure you save the small paper insert, and here it is, small paper insert that's gonna come inside the package. Each light bulb comes with an individual paper and it's got a QR code here on the back, and that is the Apple HomeKit code. You will absolutely need this to complete your setup. Enter the setup code or use the camera to scan the QR code on the back of that paper. The LifeX app will then get you connected. Now, if you don't have the HomeKit code, it is possible to get it off the serial number on the light bulb, but it's a bit hard to read. I ended up waiting several minutes for the HomeKit setup to complete, but all I got was a spinning wheel. I retried the setup a couple of times, but then suddenly the light bulb just went out and I couldn't get it to turn back on again. So for me, that light bulb became a complete dud. I pulled another light out of its box and tried again. This time it seemed to connect correctly, even with HomeKit, but during the setup, it not only forced me to add it to a room, but also to create a group within it, despite the fact I didn't want it to be grouped. This brings me to the LifeX app. While it is nicely designed and laid out, it's not actually very intuitive or easy to navigate in my opinion. And I'm saying this as someone who's used hundreds of smart home apps. Okay, well maybe dozens. 
The way the app tends to want to group your lights and devices together doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and it's extremely difficult to figure out how to redo the groupings or how to reorganize your home. There appears to be no way to get a simple basic list of all your lights so you can choose among them to navigate or adjust settings. You have to navigate through your groups or favorites. The lights do have a wide array of colors and brightnesses. For the basic white light most of us use every day, there's also a host of variations. On your smartphone, there's a dial which allows you to control whether you want a cool bluish light or a warmer pinkish yellow version. You also have the ability to brighten or dim the bulb from your smartphone. It is really easy to control and the color wheel set up in the app makes it easy to see what you're getting or what else is available to change it to. You can also set schedules for your lights to behave a certain way each day and I can say this actually works worked really well in my testing. In a strange coincidence, as I was working on this video, another of my LifeX lights died. I've had to factory reset this light strip multiple times when it just randomly stops working in the couple years I've had it. Today it just quit completely and wouldn't turn back on, so into the garbage it went. Overall, I continued to be disappointed with LifeX light bulbs. Now on the pro side, they don't use an extra hub and the colors are fun. There are the two different sizes and brightness levels you can play with, so you should be able to find a bulb that fits either your fixture or your brightness need. On the downside, there are enough red flags with these bulbs that I'm still not going to be recommending them. The app, like I said, isn't intuitive or easy to use, and the forced Apple HomeKit integration makes setup finicky if it lets you complete it at all. One of the four bulbs that I bought died during setup, and others that I've owned in the past have had a very short shelf life, and there's a big price tag to these too, so that short shelf life is kind of a burn. LifeX says their bulbs are designed to last 40,000 hours, which if you use it at about 4 hours a day is probably about 27 years or so. Now that's a good thing because the bulbs are not cheap like I said, whereas traditional bulbs or even compact fluorescents can be had for a buck a piece or less, the LifeX bulbs do cost from about $35 to $50 depending on if you get the 800 lumen version or the 1100 lumen version. And the fact that they're not going to last despite that 40,000 hour time frame is a bit of a burn. I don't see any major improvements to LifeX light bulbs since I first reviewed them back in 2014. For that reason, I would warn you away from LifeX light bulbs and steer you more towards Philips Hue, which is infinitely more reliable and leagues easier to set up. You can check out my reviews of several Philips Hue smart lights right now.